What's up guys and welcome to today's tutorial on the while loop. So in the previous tutorials we looked at a for loop where you had to define the number of loops you were going to do. A while loop is different in that it will keep looping as long as the condition is equal to true. So to create a while loop what we're going to do is first create two integers. So we're going to create a guess my number game. So int my number and I'm going to say that is equal to 7 and then I'm going to create a second integer called the users guess. Now we're going to create the while loop by just saying while open brackets and we're going to put a condition in here which is just going to be while my number is not the same so it does not equal the user's guess and then curly brackets. So all this is going to do is execute what's in between these curly brackets as long as this statement is equal to true. So you can see we're getting an error here that's because we're trying to compare a number to a number that hasn't been initialized. So that's why I'm trying to compare 7 to nothing. So what we need to do is initialize this. So you could just say equals 0 and that will get rid of the error. But what we're going to do instead is first ask for the user's first guess. So sys out, say guess my number. And then we're going to use the scanner to get the user's next integer, so next int. I'm going to assign that to the user's guess variable. And we're going to spell user's guess correctly. There we go. Uh, and you can see the error has gone away now because we've initialized the user's guess variable. So inside this loop, what we're going to do is keep asking the user to uh, guess the number as long as this is equal to false. So we're going to do that by doing the exact same thing here. So we just copy paste this in. And then if the user gets it true, uh, gets it right, we're going to give them a congratulations message just to say, you got it. So let's run this and see what happens. So guess my number. First guess is going to be one. That's wrong. So let's try seven. That's right. So it's told me that I've got it. So what's happened here is we've created my number and set equal to seven. And we've asked the user for the first guess. We guessed one. So it set the user guess variable to one. And it got to this while loop. And it compared my number seven and said, does it equal to uh, one? It doesn't. So this is false. Uh, so Sorry. So this is true. So it's asked the user for their next guess, which we guessed right, seven. So when it went back to the top and evaluated this again, it came back as false. So it skipped it and told me that we got the right answer. And that's it for the while loop. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're going to be looking at the do while loop to try and make this application a little more efficient. If you're liking this series so far, please like and subscribe or visit us on our website, yourprogrammingnetwork.co.uk. The link will be in the description.